Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back. I'm with my friend Morgan here, and uh, I've known you for what? A couple of years? I at least a year. At least a year. Yeah. I, I got here in November. A year ago from November. Yeah, we did a video with you. You shipped all this stuff here. People yeah, found that, that really interesting. That was the first one. Yeah. You shipped like a lazy boy and an ironing board and <laughs> lazy mean, boy, uh, actually antique ironing board, oh. a brass bed that's probably as much as a hundred years old or more. But you got all your stuff. I huh? mean, yeah, even still, even uh, sterling silver. So, wow. Well, yeah. yeah, I've got a uh, ten boxes should be arriving any day now, any um, day. So anyway, we were um, you were telling me off camera about. You had signed some kind of an ordeal with renting a new oh, place. Oh, yeah. Well, so tell me what pretty happened. Pretty much all but one rental so far. I've, done, I've rented twice. Well, three times. I, the first, uh, Bud Brown pointed me at this place called Hermagino Apartments, mm -hmm. which was, that was okay. But one of the things I noticed off the bat, there was this nice volleyball court across the street. Yeah. And I had a little daughter, so I'm thinking, oh, what a great place. She'll have friends. <laughs> she got friends, all right. Every other weekend, there'd be 150, 200 people out in front of my house because they'd rent it out and they'd put, we had a Miss Hermagina contest, we had singing contest, there was volleyball games, which shockingly was quiet. Mm. Actually, I asked my wife, why is, it, why is it so quiet? This is the Philippines. And she goes, oh, they wouldn't hear the announcer. <laughs> no. Mm. But they even brought in like four mini truck sized speakers one night and blasted so loud, I couldn't, I had to scream at my wife in the house to oh, even yeah, I've speak seen to that. her. They love the other music really loud and it, here. The way that the building was shaped, it was literally like a, a catch to yeah. catch all the sound on top of that. Mm. Plus I'd like have, I actually have a picture of like 150 people in front of my gate and then in the morning going out and there's like 50 empty whiskey bottles all over in front of my oh, gate no. and stuff. What was the rent for that place? Oh, that wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad pit stop on the way. It was 1800 a month pesos. Oh, that's cheap. And it was three bedroom, although the one bedroom was a little teeny weeny little thing. We actually used it for our kitchen because it had a window. It's less than $40 room. a month? How much? Less than $40 a month? 18,000? No, no. 18,000. Oh, 18,000. Okay, 18,000. No. All right. Uh, and it, we used that second bed, uh, basically a maid's quarters right off of the kitchen. So we, uh, and I had a window. So I put a box fan in the window, which are hard to get here. You got to get them off of Lazada. But I put them on in the window and we used that as a little kitchenette. Mm -hmm. So we keep the heat out because mm -hmm. it didn't have a dirty kitchen. But that wasn't bad. We were there for two months, or three months, I think. And we actually got all of our deposit back. Oh. which I was shocked I got. But <laughs> we actually had gotten a puppy, the one you first yeah. saw, and uh, did not know that, they didn't notice on the lease that there was no puppies on the lease. Mm. And they are sticklers to their contracts mm. here. And be aware of that when you sign a contract. You're you, they will get a magnifying glass out to mm. beat, beat you over the head with that contract if you go beyond whatever it says. And uh, we had a choice to find a place to move quick mm. or deal with the possibility that in their rules it said something like three days if you break a rule on the contract they can kick you out in three days Jeez. so we went really quick we found a place luckily within about two weeks which was actually nice it was actually quiet but water was a major nightmare mm. the place wasn't built right because it was built when the woman that owned it was in uh, was locked out of the country during COVID, mm. and infested like crazy with ants because the building was left open, dead for so long. Mm -hmm. The ants just turned the whole roof area into huge ant colonies, so it, you could not get rid of the ants. It was it was, it was a nightmare. Mm. But it was other than that, it wasn't bad. Oh, and the water, it was constantly. How much was that one? That, place? that one was twenty thousand uh, unfurnished. Oh. They're Jeez. renting the same one now for twenty five furnished. Wow. I actually have five units there, and the one is 35, I think, furnished, but it's literally only about five feet wider than all the others. But mm. well, there's five units all together, and they'll still fill it back up again, and every one of them. are going up here in Valencia, I think. Or well, in the, the yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I've, I've heard that. Uh, I decided a while ago when we were there, but I actually got the landlord to agree to, to go month to month when our lease ran out. Yeah. So I figured, well, I didn't have to rush now to find a yeah. place. So I spent about three months looking at places all over the place, mm. up in Cebu land, up in Valencia. But I was trying to keep our budget at 20000 because mm. I still don't have that much coming in. Mm. Uh, hopefully when 
money from Social Security for my son comes in mm. and my other retirement that I'll be doing a lot better. Mm. But uh, right now at thirteen hundred, you got you you want you want to keep that down as much as you can. But I got all that stuff I shipped, so mm. I needed storage space. Mm. So I have to get a little bit bigger for that. Mm. But uh, looked all over. I found the only thing I found in Valencia was actually not a bad price, like I think it was seventeen. Mm. But it definitely had some kind of goopy water problem. They had a water tank, and even just to fill the water tank, you had to go out and turn a valve on until it filled up, and then go back and turn the valve off. It didn't have an automatic no, shut no. off. It, it was just laid out kind of goopy, but it was literally like a five-minute walk from the public I always market. tell people, you know, water, check the water before, yeah. you, do, check, before you sign that check lease. Check every faucet, every faucet. Yeah. But I went and the one I have right now, I didn't, I, I got over impressed with the fact that it has its own well. Mm. And I started hitting a couple of, I usually go in and try every single faucet, I flush every toilet. And everything was working great, but I forgot to check the kitchen sink. Mm. Not functional. Luckily, mm. I was able to get them to fix that before we moved in. But there's some other stuff that's still not quite right on this mm. one. He but, said something about Social Security, your son, you've got a son, how old is your son? Uh, Five, I said five months. Yeah, September 1st till now. Yeah, have you registered with months. Social Security yet? What's that? Have you registered him with Social Security? In the Security? process. I'm hoping uh, we haven't been able to get up to uh, Cebu or Manila. There's a friend of a friend who has five kids here, has registered four, and is going to be going up to Cebu to register the fifth one. Mm -hmm. And he gets a check. He says he's getting a check for everything single one. A separate check. Yeah. Well, I think it comes through on your primary yeah. check. It just goes up. Mm -hmm. When I called Social Security, one of the things they had where they were saying that there was a there was a, a max that everybody's entitled to it up to a certain amount, yeah. based on what you are entitled to within that little window is your original Social Security, maybe more for your wife, more for children or whatever, or if you're uh, disabled yeah. or whatever. But it hits somewhere around 30 something, 3,000 something when you're maxed out. Mm -hmm. Now, this guy apparently, he, was, he told my buddy Ray that, oh, I'll give him a ride up to Cebu when I go for mm -hmm. my, to register his kid. So I've been waiting to hear back, but he, Ray didn't get a phone number. Mm -hmm. He just comes in once in a while up to Santino. You been to Santino? Yeah. Yeah, a great restaurant. And uh, Ray's shop is really, uh, literally on the way into Santino. And, uh, and a good place to, if you need the services on your truck and all that. Um, and he's just been waiting to see him again come popping mm. through. But the uh, fact that you got the guy coming here, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'll be here. I'll be here at five o'clock in the morning trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to him. Yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to work with Social Security. We're talking about the event that's happening well, here at Ground I Zero have to register on the eighth. I think they're going to have someone who can do phone consultations or whatever. You know. Okay. But well, I have to do citizenship first. Yeah. Then Social Security, but you want to call Social Security immediately. Do not wait like I did 19 days because they go to the date of the phone call. Not to, they'll back So all you have to do is call them up and say, My, I had a, si a child, that's it. I called them up and I did that. I don't remember the details of that. And I've been kind of paranoid that they turned around and went, ha, 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 you know, and they'll basically turn around and go, well, you didn't call. So to get out of paying me. But we'll see what happens with that one. You still haven't gotten your check yet, right? Not for him, no. You don't get it. The citizenship has to come first. So you, you have to go to the you gotta get the birth certificates, and I wish I, I should have. Did you get a birth certificate right away for your child? No, you don't get it right away. But depending on where your kid's born, it takes a little longer to get it, and it has to be, or, or you have to run around and take the paperwork from one, play, one office to another Typical, office. Yeah. And it, I, I was like, my brain was melting. I let Helen pretty much deal with it. Shit. Mm. But uh, we do have his birth certificate now, and, and that took a little while to get. We have paperwork for our marriage. We may have to get, I'm still waiting, that's another question I gotta ask, is do I need to get a DNA test because she was pregnant before we got married? Mm. Which is pretty obvious, because in the wedding picture, yeah. she was very pregnant. So uh, we, he, she, he, we got married in June, and she was mm. birthed in first of September. So she's quite obviously pregnant, mm. but uh, that may require a DNA test, but we don't know yet. Mm. I have to find that one out. That's the last little piece. That yeah. I actually have the funds to tr either travel to Manila or Cebu to get it done, and we basically we all got to go. Yeah.
I think least, you have to do both, actually. Well, first, there's, you're supposed to be able to set up this thing called a My Travel account, which I cannot get to work, in order to register online. But you can make a phone call in to register. So we'll see what happens with that, that they didn't turn around and screw me out of the last few months, yeah, four or five months, it. because that's, that's my new car. Yeah. <laughs> I need a car now that I got the baby. The trikes are okay, but uh, the car would be better. Yeah. They're very so, bumpy. So anyway, you baby. said you had you found a new place and you had some issues with the furnishings and stuff? Yeah, what happened there? yeah. This time around, I, I look like crazy, and I found this place. It was 25 furnished down in Dowan and I and I wanted to keep it 20 so I figured well let me go down and look at it anyway because I haven't been able to somewhat yeah. talk people out of the furniture and bring the price down I get down there and the gate pops open and I'm looking at a chunk of America down there when I see this place uh, flowers all over the place nicely landscaped nice house I get in there's nice furniture all over the place there's a washing machine generator its own well make the deal but beware, you're dealing with Ferengi, mm -hmm. and they basically neglected to put many things down on that lease agreement as far as furniture mm -hmm. and the washing machine. They did leave the well because they can't move that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you, when you go to sign the papers, look at every line item they'll put down. If there's an ashtray you saw that you wanted, if it's not listed on that agreement, they're gonna pull it out of there. And they pulled out this really nice vanity that was there. There were tables next to all the beds. All the tables are gone, you know. Jeez. That was the first thing. And then the washing machine was still there. So we started using it. As soon as we started using it, it's gone. Mm. Mm. So that's just one of the pitfalls of renting in the Philippines with, uh, you know. Yeah. So anyway, buyer beware and uh, especially oh God, yeah. contracts here. And yeah, look at every little item when you, even the way it was worded, I think they actually changed the wording from furnished to semi-furnished, but I didn't catch that either. So you just literally have to look at it like you're dealing like the worst use, like Richard Nixon as a used car salesman. You know, they're going to play games and hope you don't notice. And once you sign, you're stuck with it. But do yourself a favor, try not to give the two months plus first month. Yeah. Because if you do security and the first month, you can stay 30 days without paying your rent here before they can kick you out anyway. Mm. So you not at your 11th month, you just don't pay them. Mm. But if they got the extra month, more than likely you're not going to get it back. Also, I, I haven't gotten money back from the last place, but it, the rental just expired this morning. Mm. So we'll see what happens on that one. I've been lucky all the places I've stayed. I've always got all my deposit back, no problem at all. But I was lucky I had good landlords. Yeah, I've, I've heard from a lot of other people they just pay, plain ass don't give it back. Yeah. But yeah, I've had friends that never got it back know. either. There was nothing wrong when they moved out. So, you know. well, I put a bunch of holes in the wall. They're concrete. You real quick, you know, yeah. from putting up anchors in the walls. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm, I don't care if they take some, but as it actually is, I owe the last electric bill yet, mm. which goes to them, not to me. Yeah. And they basically they can go. Okay, well, here's the electric bill. So that's fine. So you all moved in this new place yet, or? Yeah, I moved in and piled the boxes everywhere mm -hmm. right at the moment. And uh, but it, other than the landlord being Ferengi, mm -hmm. which is typical here, uh, it's not bad. There's there's a neighbor next door which is a re relative, which has chickens, which I saw coming in, but there were didn't too many of them. I think maybe you had the relative put the chickens up while I was there to look at it the first time. Mm -hmm. And the only big problem we really have with them, they're not that loud the dust they kick up the dust in the yard and it blows over and everything gets constantly covered in dust oh, from the place and there's not much i can do about that other than build a wall yeah. and it's a rental i'm not going to build a wall yeah. but i was leaning towards trying to get the second house that was there yeah. and rent out the rooms out of it yeah. and then they turned around and they were like they sound like oh that's no no problem and then they turn around as soon as i'm into the one they're like it's showing the house to somebody else even though it, everything's interconnected the wiring's interconnected the water's interconnected i'm like wait a minute i'll be paying the guy's water bill mm. oh, no 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 you know work this out in the right way you know yeah. they can't act, they think they can separate it but they can't separate the water bill yeah because it's a, it's on its own well mm. and it's the water's all interconnected i actually suspect i might even be pumping house, to the, the water house next door huh i never had to pay water my last two places i lived even where i live now i don't pay a water bill Oh, uh, I know. I, if, if they did that, I'd be fine. Internet's free if, also. If they took that electrical, for, if they pay for that water pump, 
I could care less. Mm. You know, they can go ahead and rent the other place out. But I was actually trying to get my buddy, the buddy, to take that house so that I would be a lot easier to deal with. Well, anyway, thanks for sharing that story. That's a good little uh, public service for people that, because yeah. everybody's looking for places to rent here, you know, and you got to be careful and ask a lot of questions and maybe even video the place before you move in. Oh, to I, see what's I, there. I shoot video almost every, I posted a lot of them. Yeah. I actually had this one up. I took it back yeah. down because I didn't yeah. want to lose it to yeah. somebody. Yeah, asked lots of questions. Is this included and that included? What's not yeah. included? And, yeah. and frankly, I think the realtor wasn't more there walking with me when I, I did the walk around more to video it than to document it. See, I had the opposite thing at the, my first place. I lived Dulce Vida. They had a decent TV. You know, I don't know how, how big it was. It's not that big, like 24 inch or whatever. And I said, hey, you know, could I pay a little extra and get a bigger TV? And I said, yeah, sure. How big do you want? I said, I want it as big as that window. I want a huge one. And a few weeks later, they showed up with this great big, huge TV, and they installed it and everything, raised my rent like, it was like 500 pay, or yeah, 500 pesos a month. Oh, that's and I said, great, you know, of course they kept the TV, it wasn't mine, but yeah. it was great, I had this great big TV, you know, and it was all taken care of and worked out great, so. Well, it, this one hit me up with, comes with internet. Hmm. And there's an internet router in the, in the main ho house, yeah. right there in the living room, turned on when yeah. I got there. And I'm like, okay, comes with internet, cool. Now it turns around once I'm there, they're like, oh, it, yes, comes in there. But you will pay because you're the only one using it. Yeah. And then in the long run, I find out that they have a Sorry Sorry store there, and there's cameras everywhere. Yeah. The cameras are live streaming shit to Scotland, to the owners. Mm. Well, who's paying for the internet when they're, you know, if I'm paying for the internet, and then they're using it to stream the damn video to Scotland, how much of the internet is being sucked up by that, yeah. you know, 25 cameras? <laughs> oh, well. Live I just learn. had them shut it down and I'm going yeah. to get Starlink. So anyway, thanks for sharing that. I really appreciate it. Nice seeing you guys.